Hi everyone, look where I am. Look, Tokyo City. The Tokyo government decided to create a, like a traditional crafts fair here in Shinjuku, in that amazing Shinjuku city, on top of the most posh department store, like the most expensive <laughs> store with all the amazing brands on top of it at 11, 11th floor you will find this here now until 23rd and as you can see there are all the amazing crafts of japan that are being demonstrated for you so actually the artists are here and in front of your eyes, amazing works are born, like this here. Kochi, <laughs> hi. Ah, de horu. So look, people, you all love katana so much. Now this is the craft that was used to uh, embellish, to make the katanas beautiful and to, you know, to add funny and cool elements to the katana. Like in, you know, Edo period, they, they didn't have so many wars. So it was the time when actually katana started to become art objects and, you know, when they actually had time to do beautiful stuff on the katana and that's how when they became so expensive so look at this stunning dragon plate so this will be a decorative plate something like this here and this art so this traditional craft is called choking metal chasing and um, so first for example here the plate was created and then all these dents like the small dots that you see here were as I say beaten into the metal and then there is this paint on top of it and just with pencil Mr. Nakajima drew these dragons with pencil and now he is um, sculpting this 3D shape, the 3D design. So here you can really see well if my iPhone is not going to give up on us. See little by little what a precise work he is doing. sculpt all the moustache of the dragon. And Mr. Nakajima, he was telling us that he is 81 years old. He doesn't look like that though. <laughs> He's very nice and uh, lovely to explain us how this is being done but he is doing this for 70 years so he's really like a professor of this talking art Imagine how amazing this is that you can just come here just like me and you know watch them showing such traditional historical Japanese crafts like when you buy a katana you know it has this type of engravings and that's what makes it beautiful and here Mr. Nakajima Ika is showing how to engrave this and um, there, there are many booths like here for example you could come and you could buy their amazing products so let me just show you like look all these 
stunning metal work like snow snowflakes wow and they are made of silver and silver and gold truly adorable oh これはあの、つけてますよね。ああ、そっか。あの、男性が着ける飾り。これも自分で作りました。ああ、はい。わあ、this also this あ、そう。あ、そう。じゃない。じゃない。あ、そう。So <laughs> he has many such uh, dragon artworks because he loves the design the, the dragon mark. ね、うん、そう。素敵。素敵。and this gentleman is the creator of Kuchira Nashohin. Ume, so see, this is plum. Ume, yes. plum flowers. So, is this of like a massive silver? Massive silver, and then with mm -hmm. plated. Okay, plated. Gold plated. Like it's such a rare chance to buy, you know, to come and buy directly from the creators. Oh, so see, around every booth there are actually more artists um, presenting their works. Plus, you can experience um, on 23rd, if you come here on 23rd, Mr. Nakajima is going to uh, show you, like see there are over there, there are um, demonstration booths where you can actually yourself try to um, this art of choking. And Miss Miyoko Kamada, she is doing this for more than 10 years now. And she is now, she's preparing the metal for uh, to apply gold leaf on it. So for that she has to how to say scratch the metal to obtain a, like a pattern you know like a, a net something like a netting and then when she will put the gold leaf on top of that the gold will enter in the you know tiny holes in the metal and will stay there without applying any uh, glue so all this silver and gold plating are done without glue it's by creating you know a, a structure very fine probably in the domain of microns so let me show you okay so this see how the structure of the metal has been you know scratched or uh, to obtain this pattern like woven so the metal looks woven and じゃあこれはあのね、熱で熱くにして木の付けるとかじゃなくて全部コールド冷たいのままで so the metal is you know everything is done at room temperature how to say it's not they are not applying heat so the metal is not being worked with heat 
and I think that's what makes it resistant for all hundreds of years. And then, see, she is going to cut the gold leaf and add it little by little. <laughs> so this is going to become a flower uh, and the gold. Oh. Ah, so it's going to be the lid on a box. So here you can see other works. You wouldn't even think that this is metal, you know. Incredible. So, for example, here to create these uh, circles, uh, she's using like a, such a metal tool that is round, roundish. So, if she hits it from above, there will uh, it will create this circle shape. But actually, this looks like a kimono print. なんかそう、これはそのキモノのプリントのイメージ。名前なんだったっけ?カノコ。カノコ。カノコ。そう。鹿の、あれカノコ用って鹿の愛ですよね。ああ、鹿の。ええ。鹿の、あれ鹿の
and then you can give this. Oh. So it's going to be an experience. You personally will do this with him. So that's amazing. Wow. Thank you. Yay! People, I really hope to come here. Like, see, he had so many cute things like the tulip or the fish or which one shall I choose? And I definitely want to do more than just put my name on it. So I will try more engravings because this is just such an amazing rare experience. So, Tokyo Shinjuku Takashimaya is the building, 11th floor. And this is everything is awaiting for you. So, see ya here.